happy to say this time around I made more on this one. I will go over all the exact numbers again for you guys. So let's break it down. So how much did I make on this second commission? We're talking about the recent commission I did for Track 7 Brewing Company. You guys remember from the first one, I did the project, did a summary of it. In the end, it wasn't that much. So we'll go over the numbers again, how much I made, the materials cost, and the hours that I put into this project. So to start with, I made the two print copies, black and white, 18 by 18 inches, the same size as the last one. That was $11. The glass cost this time around was pretty similar. I needed three glass colors that were missing. That came out to $51. 188. I had the other glass colors in stock and I figured it would be about pretty much the same amount of glass that we're going to use, same size. I made those about $20 each. I think that's what I paid for them, so $60. I ended up using five lead came strips, same as last time, so that was $70. I also used exactly one zinc came strip, that was $12. I don't think I charged it last time, but We'll add it for this one. And this time around, I added $20 for the consumables. We're talking solder, flux cleaner, things that get used up. I think $20 is okay, just kind of threw it in there. So the putty that I used for this project, I've actually got some here. This is an old one that dried up, so I needed a new one. $16.75 from Stained Glass Garden. I think that's kind of high for putty. Probably typical for a stained glass shop. That and some chains and jump rings actually came out to $32.05. The chain I'll probably have to source elsewhere as well. Probably try to find some better pricing next time. So materials this time around was $257. Now let's talk about how long it took me to make this project. I logged and spent 45.4 hours on this entire project. This was a span of 26 days with a few hours here and there. I logged as much as I could remember and as accurately as possible. So I believe this is the actual hours that I spent. Now, could I have shaved off some time? Yes, I believe I could have. One thing that comes to mind is the putty when I was applying it and trying to clean it up. The putty was a little dry and it was harder to work with. So next time I would make sure that it was a little bit more flowy for me so I could apply quicker and get more of that putty inside instead of trying to work against it with the dryness of it. And some of the times when I was doing the lead work, cutting up the strips, making sure everything was fitting, sometimes that felt like things weren't connecting right. I had to redo some of the strips, recut some of the stuff. So that took up more time. But overall, this is pretty accurate at the level that I am at right now. So the good part now is we know the hours and we know the cost of the materials. How much did I make on this project? From all the comments from last time, I can tell you that I did not charge enough. I agree with you guys. I know that that was a little bit low, but for the experience, for the work, I think that's completely fine. This time around, I asked for $1,200 to $1,500, and that was a good ballpark for me. I based it off of the 50 hours of work from last time, guessing that it would be pretty much the exact same or close to the same from the first panel. So once we discussed that, then I knew that I could try to work within that range, maybe shave off some hours and make it faster, then I can make more potentially this time around, and that would bring my hourly income up from last time. And the hours it actually took longer this time. The first panel, I never added putty into the project. It turned out fantastic and it didn't need the putty. For this second panel, when I was cutting the glass and putting lead together, things were a lot more loose and I knew that it wasn't bad work. It was just that you can seal it up and hold it together better with the putty. But also it's great to add the putty if you want to make it waterproof, weatherproof, fully complete the project, which I really wanted to do for this project. I didn't do it the first time. Then I had to tell them, hey, don't hang it outside and just keep it indoors. But I knew that for the second one, for this one, I wanted to make a complete, you can hang it outside, you can leave it outside, it doesn't matter. I really wanted to add the putty in for this round anyways. So that's what I did and that added those extra, extra hours in applying the putty, cleaning up the putty. So big lesson for me on that is the putty and the hours um, that it added. So the check that I got from track seven the exact number was $1,500. Now I did mention we talked about $1,200 to $1,500 was the range. At $1,200, the rough estimate that I at first calculated was $20 an hour for this project. I think that's really good at $20, but then I remembered there's something else that you need to charge and cover for yourself. It's a thing called taxes that you cannot forget. First panel, I did not charge enough, nor did I charge for taxes. So basically, if you don't charge enough on your project, not only do you not make money or make less money, you also have taxes that you owe afterwards and don't 
really think about it. So that's a big thing that I needed to remind myself. If I charge $1,200 on this project, it would net me $20 an hour, but I also have taxes to pay for afterwards. I don't really know how much that is, but it needs to be enough to cover that cost. So the $20 then don't become $15 because of taxes. Just numbers for you guys, but I think you know what I mean. So this time around, I needed to make sure that I actually charged enough, but also enough to cover taxes as well. So let's do our calculations. At $1,500 minus the 257, that gives us 1243. Divide that by 45.4 hours worked. Gives me $27 an hour, 2738. Not bad, going from the first panel, making a single digit, $7 something an hour to $27 an hour now. I'm truly grateful. It feels amazing to be able to do something like this, something that I love to do and also get paid for it. Thank you so much to Ryan and Track7 for being so kind and generous with giving me the opportunity to do this commission. I completely loved it and it was awesome. I believe there's gonna be one more panel to complete this series, so please stay tuned for that. You guys want to check it out the panel should be hanging up at track 7 brewing company out there in sacramento at their natomas location so is 1500 enough for this project would you guys charge more or less i would love to know your thoughts down in the comments let others know what you would charge and the appropriate number that you feel would work for you if you guys want to see how i made this project from beginning to end please check out the video right here and thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time